All right. <clears throat> Live from Avila, Spain. All right, this is gonna be a short session because I got like exactly 10 minutes to get back to my bus. This is a very short stay, but uh, show you a little bit of this town as I walk out. Uh, get a little flavor for it. Uh, you should be able to hear, get a sense of it. So, what's this city's claim to fame? Okay, so it's claim to fame is that this is the last remaining city or the only city remaining in all of Europe that's surrounded by a fortress wall. So, in medieval times, pretty much every city was surrounded by a wall to protect itself. But this is the last remaining one. Uh, a couple other things about it is that it's also the home of uh, Santa Teresa. Uh, uh, she was born here and baptized here. I actually went by the um, little little church that she was baptized in. So Santa Teresa, and it's also a, a Templar city. Templars had a lot to do with the construction of the city um, or the establishment of the city. The walls of the city were. Uh, well, the city was built on an old Roman settlement and there was actually an Acropolis here. So if you're familiar with what an Acropolis is, it's a Roman temple. <laughs> and they used <clears throat> the walls, they used the stone from the Acropolis to build this fortress. So you can see here, this is part of the wall and part of the cathedral. The only part of the wall that's connected or connected to the cathedral. So I'm gonna walk around. This is more of a little modern part of it, relatively speaking. And I'll show you some of the, the wall, how it looks. So I hate to be rushed, but man, I gotta get back there. But this still is very cool city. Um, again, Avila is the name of the city. It's also the highest city in all of Spain. Also elevation wise, the highest elevated city in all of Spain. So it's brick out here, it's cold. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try not to get hit by this van. But here you can see how the wall looks. So imagine this whole wall, a wall like this surrounds the whole city for about three miles round. All right, and it's probably hard to make out. You can see some of these rocks have little indentures and things like that. And those were stones that were used from um, like um, burial tombs and all kind of things like from, from Roman times that they just repurposed and built into the wall. So it's kind of creepy, but it's kind of cool in the same time. How tall are the walls? Um, I forget, I think it's like, I'm gonna say, man, she told me, they told me and I forget now, about 35 feet maybe, something like that. Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong, but we'll get a little taste of this place. So, if anybody knows somebody named Avila, which I do, <laughs> this is where the name came from. Okay, so again, really also a stronghold of the Te Knights Templar, the Templarios. You see the Templar mark all over this place, and uh, they're proud of that history. Let's see if I can take it to one of the I mean entrances here. Sorry, I didn't miss the Plaza Mayor. Um, it wasn't much, but it's an older one. But you get a feeling of how this place looks here. Okay, so dead on center here, how it looks. Okay. Another, uh, I don't know, cathedral, something there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, what's up, Al? I'm definitely on tour status. I'm trying to be educational. Yeah, this is, um, I do these videos for, for me uh, and also for my dad. That's a big thing. He's probably not checking it right now, but he will eventually. So I do these for my dad. He's living vicariously to me. So, and for my family to watch these, to hopefully inspire my brothers and my sister to go out and adventure. And also for all my fam, like your friends out there, who are watching this to inspire you to get out too 
and see the world. There's so much of this world out there to be seen and, and, and adventure through. Um, we got to get out and explore, man. It's, you know, we just got to get out. It doesn't cost as much as you think to get out and do these things. So let me flip over here. You can see we're pretty high up. You can see there, they peeped that. Get away out of these cars. So you can see a little bit of this. Look at that. Crazy. There we go. So you can see there's some people walking up there. I wanted to go up there, but they were like, it's five euros, and I got like five minutes. I was like, all right, now nah, I'm just gonna have to, you know, imagine myself up there. I would have really liked to have gone up there. I wish there was more time um, to spend. So uh, this is a little bit of Avila. We got Jose Sanchez shop right there, a primo. <laughs> All right. And just beautiful countryside. Again, this is really high up. The drive up here, we're like in a very mountainous area. So we're pretty high up here. Um, and again, it's cold, it's brick cold. Um, I'm not dressed a, a warm enough. Um, it's gotta be maybe, uh, not like I'm complaining for my New York people, but because um, I know you're dealing with snow in the east over there. But um, I'm dressed for like 60 something degree weather and it's like 40 something degrees. So, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe that's my cue. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off. I really literally got like five minutes to go down there and um, so I don't get left out here. But uh, peace from uh, Avila, Spain. Signing off.